Hi, Drake. Oh, um, hi. Have you heard what happened? Dude, you've been all over Springwood secrets. If I talk to you, then rumors about me could begin to form. You feel me? Yeah, I get it. Why didn't you let me talk to him? Unless you tell me what's been up with Jules lately, I'm gonna have to assume he likes you. I already told you, it isn't my place to say. Jules is gonna have to come to me himself. Why can't you talk to him? Surely your pride wouldn't be wounded if you talk things out with your best friend. If he doesn't want to talk, that's his business. Now stop talking about him, otherwise I'll have to think that you feel something for him. Ugh, you're such an idiot. But an endearing idiot, right? <laughs> Only sometimes. Ah, you must be Kyla. Yep. Everyone, this is Kyla. She will be transferring to our homeroom class. You can go ahead and take a seat. Everyone pull out your textbooks and turn to page 48. Today, we are going to be reviewing the story before we begin the essays. You will have a week to work on the essays before they are due, so you needn't prepare your poor excuses. Grammar will also be 50% of your essay grade. If needed, you can use peer check, but make sure you write who did your peer check at the top of your paper. So you're the new girl. I have a name, you know. There's more to me than just being the new girl. Right. Sorry. Nah, I don't care what you call me. You could call me a peanut butter popsicle for all I care. Uh, a what? A peanut butter popsicle. They're my own creation, and shockingly, delicious. It sounds disgusting. Hey, don't knock it before you try it. Jules, I suggest you pay attention. Y yes ma'am. Have you heard the rumors? <sighs> kind of. I don't really pay attention to Zara's blogging life anymore. I just saw you reading it yesterday. That was because of the bruise on her face. What do you mean? <sighs> you wouldn't understand. No, don't even get me started on that crap. Courtney and Phoebe have been spewing that all week. Why not just listen to them? What? Nothing. It's whatever. I'll see you around. What? Why is everyone acting so strange lately? Two. 
So is you If I'm ever gonna fall in love No, it's gonna be you But you So is you What's up, Buttercup? Buttercup? It's supposed to be funny, you know, because your hair kind of looks like peanut butter. Mmm, peanut butter. That isn't exactly what I had in mind when I dyed it. Why exactly did you dye it then? It was supposed to be symbolic. I dyed it when I started my freshman year. Ah, the good old fresh start. Why exactly did you dye your hair? I needed to cleanse my being of the tainted opinions of others. So why dye it that color then? Didn't you see what was said about it on Springwood Secrets? I took one glance at that blog and came to my final conclusion. That blog serves no purpose in this life. For lack of a better word, it's lame. Then why do you think everyone looks at it so much? It's simply a lack of better things to do with their time. I, however, have plenty of worthy hobbies to occupy my mind. Hey! You need to spend less time on this thing. It's bringing you down. Don't you have a phone? I haven't seen you with it out. My parents got me one, but I threw it in a river. Why would you do that? It's exactly like I said. Phones are addicting. Fun, even. But what's on them can be toxic. You aren't even the least bit curious about what Zara has on her blog about you? Nope. Because I know it's all nothing but invalid judgments. I know who I am, but that Zara girl doesn't. None of what she says would ever be valid unless she got to know me. Stay true to yourself and nobody else. That is how you make it alone. What did you need to talk about? I've been feeling overwhelmed. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad that I have a friend like Phoebe, but all the drama happening around her makes me feel like I can't breathe. Have you told her that you feel that way? A lot of people don't really get it. She knows that I'm shy, but it's more than that. I see. I've seen you in my office a lot on account of your anxiety. It may be difficult, but you need to sit down with your friend and tell her what's on your mind. You need things in your life to cool down, and having someone to turn to in any situation will help that. It's easier to think straight when I'm not surrounded by all that drama. Dude, you need to meet me in Nirvana. I'm no Buddhist, but they know what they're talking about when it comes to inner peace. In Buddhism, Nirvana refers to a type of heaven, but for us, reaching Nirvana means our state of truest tranquility. Okay then, how did you reach your Nirvana? I'm not sure. One day I just kind of realized that I was letting everything consume me. I began to focus more on my dreams and what I wanted for my future. The temptation of letting the minor things consume you will always be there. But you have to rise above it. Like this. How do you feel? I feel... better. See? We all need some words of encouragement every now and again. I'm in the mood for some ice cream. Let me guess, peanut butter chocolate? The chocolate part is unnecessary, but it still works.
Hey, Leroy. Hey, could we talk? I really am sorry. My life isn't usually full of so much drama. I'm grateful to have a friend like you, but being surrounded by so many people, it just gets too much sometimes. I get that. Just let me know when you get to feeling that way, okay? Besides, I know that dealing with Jules hasn't been easy. He loves you. He didn't want to lose you. I don't blame him for that, but why exactly did you break up with him? I don't know, really. I thought I knew, but I keep questioning it. Don't you love him? Love doesn't go away in the span of a day. How would you know? Have you been in love before? Well, no, but I imagine the feeling would be all-consuming. That's the difference between like and love, isn't it? Hi, Troy. How was school been for you? I hope it's been treating you well. I'd say that today was a good day. A really good one. We can all use those every now and then. Do you ever have any good days? <laughs> By my standards, a good day is getting enough money for a good meal. How did you end up in this kind of... situation? How did I end up homeless, you mean? Y yeah. I was having a hard time getting a job. All the money I had went to my mother's medical bills. It wasn't long before I lost the house. I guess Kyla was right. It's easy to get caught up in the minor things in life. This Kyla girl sounds smart. Is she your girlfriend? No, but... I think she's my friend. A true friend. Well, I'm glad you have one of those. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> 